My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Against the Storm, where we are ready to bake. We have plus one to meat production for every 25 times it's produced, which is going to be very, very effective as soon as I can get a trapper's camp. Very much holding out for a trapper's camp here. We've got the leech brood mother even setting up a new hearth Boom. in this area. But what I really want right now is to start baking. So we can start baking because I do have small farms producing grain. We don't have a huge amount of grain just yet, but we do already have the rain mill, so it's not like I can't start trying to utilize the rain and mushrooms in order to make flour. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then I will need a bakery building as well, so let's get one of those. Oh gosh, I kind of want to put them over here near the, uh, near our second half. Just considering the first one has kind of really run out of space near adjacencies. That's pretty nearby, I'll take it. So it looks like this granary is no longer comfortable making all of that fabric. Let's have a look at any of our, sorry, recipes. Thank you. For productions of containers. So we have pottery production of a two-star nature in the bakery. Requires clay and sea marrow or coal and wood. You use the wood. I'll make, you know, a, I guess 15 pots from that. Nothing wrong with that. It's just I don't have consistent clay generation, so it just doesn't feel like I'm going to be able to get too much further. With the amount of parts that I have and the amount of simple tools that I don't, I will now take the second upgrade here for another 50% of the work speed. And the bakery can be populated by lizards, what with all the fire and all. High level of corruption. I did, I did honestly assume that. Let's get two out of the mill, into the blight posts. Out of the mill and into the fire. Obviously all of you out of the granary as well. Um, yeah, brick production is the main big problem on our mind. I cannot use clay for it. I can only use stone. But we do get really good stone production. What with the plus two to all generations of stone. So we should have the ability to do that. Honestly, to the point that I don't need highest uh, brick production online. Just using six is probably still fine for us. And when I say probably, I mean definitely. In this instance. 55 seconds until the next complete event. Looks like it's time to take all my people off of their woodworking. Stone roads! Lizard majority. Eh, I could theoretically get to lizard majority, but for plus one to meat production, honestly, not even worth it. Stone roads for 40 pottery, 24 simple parts, 20 amber. I only need to make paved roads, 50 of them. And with the extra production for stone that we have, that is not at all difficult to ask. Ugh, everyone's really mad at me about the season though. Okay. Everyone out of wood cutting, and now we're down at four. It's still not good. Still pretty bad, in fact. It's a lot of food they want to eat. They're going to have significant negative resolve. They're going to have much slower production of things. I mean, all we have so many humans that are unhoused at the moment as well. Huge mess trying to house them. What if I just built some big shelters? Keeps people housed. Eh, honestly, probably not. One stack of coal. 
No, it's got to be two stacks of wood if I actually want to lower the resolve negativity at all. And again, unfortunately, we do have all of those people without housing. So no, it's, I've, I've got to make some, some housing. No choice. Yes, that's technically in the location it needs to be. That too. As long as they happen, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll set the production priority for both big shelters very high. I'm also going to start sacrificing a stack of coal in order to save us from the negative resolve that is otherwise haunting us. Explorer's Lodge Market, Supplier and Guildhouse. So the Supplier does have the ability to get like a lot of very good resources, but we don't need it. Uh, the Market for the ability to carry 10 more things at a time. Honestly, I think for exactly that reason, we need the Market. Up against the Crown Chronicle. Uh, Crown Chronicle's not really relevant for us because we have not found many ruins in the area. And Guildhouse, not super relevant because we haven't done much trading, but ultimately we will. I'm going to end up taking the Market 100% of the time here, so I'm pretty confident just clicking that right now. Okay, good. I've got people housing again, so they are safe from the hailstorm, thankfully. Just unfortunately, I also have to spend a huge amount of resources right now. Uh, yeah, this is also a big problem. What with the no herbs, no berries, no roots? I literally can't bake anything. I can make pies at least. There we go. Make pies using some of our access meat. Okay, great. There goes all of the cysts that we needed to deal with in that instance as well. Without restrictions, we could have a plus 10% to bonus yield from production, but consumption... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to skip all of the discussion here. Smuggler's Visit. You may choose one blueprint from all unlocked blueprints. I'm choosing one blueprint. I'm choosing the Trapper's Camp. We are taking the Trapper's Camp. We are placing two Trapper's Camps immediately out in this location. And that's the last of it. That's all... I don't want to hear another word, Devin. That's what we're doing. I mean, I'd turn the insects into egg production off. Obviously, don't eat those. Eventually, I will, but focus on the meat first. Oh my god, I need to stop sacrificing all my resolve. Okay, I have some sea marrow and gold to burn at this point. Absolutely fill all these woodcutters camps back up. These ones that are further from a a uh, warehouse, I'm just gonna move. Honestly, this one too. Honestly, probably all of them would benefit from being around a new area instead. And then new villages. I am going to take the, the herbs and the mushrooms so that I can create some more biscuits and pies. This resolve is low. It's fine. Shouldn't be low for long. So many workers not doing anything right now. I feel like oh, I feel like I'm severely underutilizing them. Um, uh, let's get in the make your post. Packs of provisions. I'll tell you if you could give me ten out of the meat stuffs, I'd be over the moon if we had it. Also, go to the blind posts. I guess I'm going to tell you to use sea marrow if you can. 
Because I'm otherwise running out of the wood very, very quickly. Here comes the second half for us. I... Uh, the, the expansion of the terrain around this half is largely... So that I can just have uh, it upgrade really, really quickly. So, moving both of the big shelters over to this location is a pretty high priority for us. And then we can get a couple of a couple of features around the area as well. Ooh, sea marrow. Well, I don't want to sell that much sea marrow. Is the thing. That said. Fabric I could sell, but this is not a good rate for the fabric. Do I want to pop 30 fabric sillies away? I think I just want to start establishing multiple different relationships at this point. So sell some copper, some seam arrow, and some fabric. So that I can start working on the good friends. Mm, yes. All I need to do is start trading, and that's when good neighbors will become good friends. I guarantee there's at least a couple people out there who are like, Why is that? Why is that ring a bell? Um, hmm. Small path continues in prosperous growth by itself up in that area. Uh, I'll take the rest of those out, noting that we have enough fuel reserves. I'd love to get a couple other signs of production. You know what? What else can I do right now? I've been paralyzed for a little bit. What do I do? I want to design the rest of this as well as advance this into a neighborhood. I can do that by putting down a market. I can put down a market by clearing... Honestly, a zone of beaver houses. If I could just export the beaver houses to a different area, which I totally can. Everything would be fine. I think those placements are not good, <laughs> but they are fine. They, they'll do. They'll be okay. And then if I put down maybe... Uh, we go for two benches in that near area, a barrels, and... Um, Sure, we pump directly out of the ground into the Trappers Camp. That'll give us our plus three to Global Resolve, which is very, very impactful at this point still. And it will also have cleared up the space for me to put down the market for plus ten to carry capacity for everyone at all times. Which is so important now that I, because I don't have the harpies in the society. Good brick production, y'all. Well done on that. Uh, we have a lot of free-flowing workers around, so it's time to pave our roads with gold. This should give us our 50, which will immediately give us the ability to start opening a bunch of these crates. Um, including uh, in increasing trade routes with people. Ooh. I can sell bricks for a really good price to a lottie, actually. Although I don't have that many packs of provisions, right? So that's that's that. That was the big problem. Um, I'll make two individual trades with a lottie. Just increase my relationship there. So this element's also increasing the relationship at the moment. We're getting closer to good friends. So my cellar is running 100% of the time, but we are constantly out of jerky. 
little bit of a problem there for us to consider. Let's get human in the market. So now I have my plus 10 to carrying capacity. Old Farloof has arrived. I do want to increase my trading relationship with Eloisium as well. Sure, I'll ship some flour to you. Uh, plus one to crystal and dew production, getting that from the trees, given I've gotten a total of 77 just by similar processes. Honestly, it doesn't really appeal that deeply to me. It's got a decent amount of flour. I mean, I'm still baking pies constantly. And biscuits. You know, let's get a second bakery, literally just across the road from the first one. I want them to be able to stare into one another's eyes as they compete. My god, yeah, yeah absolutely. They're going to stop making biscuits at some point to start making pies double time. Stone Roads is ready. We get 20 amber. Which we can also spell, uh, spell, sell, spell, sell, <sighs> spend? Is what I was looking for there. I, I, I started with sell. I got the SP soon after for spell, but it, was, it took me a while to get to spend. Um, whereby we will have a total of 30 amber to trade here for any of the resources we should so like. Honestly, Old Farloof is one of the worst traders for me right now. In that you seldom have anything I give a uh, S about. Do I have a... Nope. No simple tool production still. I'll save Amber for rerolls then. Uh, with 30 simple tools, I can open two of the medium van and caches. Or I could open one of the advanced ones. The advanced one actually has plus two to stone production. I have so much stone on the map that another plus two to stone production and I'm selling stone. I'm now a stone production facility that also occasionally feeds people in a bakery. Let's also deal with the seller, get ourselves some pickled goods. Speaking of pickled goods, I... Ooh. Actually, is it time to make wine? One of the big things is, like, uh, I, I need, like, three more sellers in order to make enough jerky for people, people to eat jerky consistently. You only need 25 wine at any one time. Make it your highest priority, but then continue the jerky. Oh, buddy! Meat specialization, you've managed to enlist some excellent hunters. Meat production has increased by plus one for every 25 times to produce. That is done four times, so we already have five meat. Every time we gather from one of these, they're delivering 10, in fact, at this point. But that's literally just going to double as soon as I put this clan hall down, which is <laughs> what we've been working towards. <gasps> There's so much more cool up here! Ah, oh, I'm so happy. Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. I'm happy. This is good. Uh, let's make that call. Let's get that clan hall up here. I mean, I should be so well set up for our fuel resources at this point that it's... 100% trivial for me to remove everyone from everything there. Complex food is apparently not enjoyed by everyone at the moment. It's going to be the majority of the beavers that are not enjoying complex food yet. Uh, they're going to get negative resolve consistently. They're also going to eat a lot more food. Slow food production. At least we don't have to worry about anyone fading. But I think I might go for a stack of each wood and coal, getting us down to only three hostility. Oh my god. 
plan holes filled to the brim. Mine's also ready. Uh... Guess we can get two of you in the lumber mill, start making more planks, because that's otherwise a problem. Let's get three of you in the black post, start making those, because that's otherwise a problem. Let's get three of you in the granary, start making that, otherwise that could be a problem. Seeing a trend? Uh, make your post, though. You now may use as much meat as you like, because we are never going to have another problem with meat in our entire GD lives to make all of the packs of provisiones that you like. Oh, I know deeply they are your favorite thing. <gasps> the neighborhood is actually complete if I make the, the rest of the, the, the display requirements. Excellent. Uh, let's get some flags over there. I'm just going to quickly do this little post up. There we go. Another little post down. There we go. Okay, so now I only need to finish off my pipe ending there, pipe ending there. Let's give it to benches. You can sit down on. So I guess the general idea in my mind is that these pipes uh, have little holes on this side and they are highly pressurized, but they just spray water directly onto all of the uh, plant stuffs on the other side of this uh, little curated park here. Stone cutters has nothing nearby. <laughs> Yeah, of course it doesn't. There you go. Time to cut forever. You're welcome. Enjoy. The sacrifice ends. I can force the end of the aesthetics and royal gardens at any time as well. I've got to keep that in mind. Uh, I can trade a simple tool to Silly in order to increase the relationship there. I can increase the relationship with the Lali by selling parts. I will only sell one. I have successfully purchased two relationships. And I'm also going to sell some reed for Eloisium there. Unfortunately, that reed is very, very useful for us. I do sell it. It's still correct to do in this instance. Uh, but it was how I was making the wine. So I'm now going to want to access the read stuffs out here. Surprise child, Seahilda's... Okay, so... I think it's clay delivery? And all of these are really good, except for the surprise child. We have no eggs on the map. Very few eggs on the map. Seahilda's secret cookbook, though. Gain 10 jerky every ton pies you produce. I can make as many pies as are needed. I now have the ability to make infinite pies. Uh, this would be all of the jerky that I ever need. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at, I'm, I'm, I was about to justify the other ones and I'm actually gonna have to cut myself off here, recognizing that if I did manage to justify the other ones, I would be making a mistake. And hey, I'm pretty sure I would be able to justify it. I mean, yeah, newcomers are almost here. I'll put them the the wood cutting. There we go. Oh, speaking of putting them in the wood cutting, get a whole mess of beaverinos. That'll get that done. Uh, one more house for humans and one more house for lizards. Still just need that area to expand, honestly, for that to occur. Our food stuffs, yeah, we are just ridiculously up on meat. At this point, consume no raw uh, food stuffs except for meat. There is no point to you consuming any raw food stuff that is not meat. Literally, all that does is waste the other food stuffs at this point. Okay, the blight post is more than ready to start dealing with the blight if it needs to. The granary is ready to be at. 
So the granary, I also wanted to go back for pickled goods, for mushrooms, roots, vegetables, eggs, or berries, as well as pottery. Yeah, so I don't get any of these consistently, save the possibility of vegetables. I have a lot of grain left over, so I'm going to tell you that you can start making just vegetables, so I can start making uh, more consistent pickled goods. Oh my god! No, 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 it's not time for the second altar. I don't want to have to sacrifice people! No, sorry. That would be the worst argument to make. Just rub that out for a second. I don't want to sacrifice the metagame resources that actually upgrade our every civilization on. That's the thing I don't want to lose. Okay. In this camp, when we harvest meat, we harvest 14 meat at a time. It's so ridiculous. I need to get... Oh, there's the second bakery. I actually already have the created. Um, just bake pies full time, please. One of you in the blight post tell you to make up to a total of 15 for the burning fire so you can continue. Let's have a look at our trade routes again, just in case any of these... They're not necessarily updated, but maybe I could expand them. Mm, don't have that. Don't have that right now. Don't have that right now. How do I not have biscuits? What? Oh, right, of course, because not actually getting uh, herbs, which is where biscuits are coming from. That makes sense. Ooh, also, uh, brick production. I'm going to tell you, you can make up to a total of 50. We have so much stone that there is no reason for you not to. Packs of trade goods from pottery or flour. I do intend to use both of those, so I won't give those away. I will, however, get my beavers to replace lizards in my woodcutting camps. Oh, apparently we're brawling at the moment. I didn't even know that we had uh, access to brawling materials, but I guess I would have gotten that from opening one of these caches out here. Uh, Thank you very much for all the trade stuffs you've done. There we go. Okay, sea marrow. Still a bad price. Pie. That's a very good price for something that I can produce easily. So 15 of those to Erosh. Eroch. Uh, I can slightly increase the relationship with you again if I need to, but realistically, oh my god, I can sell 105 scrolls to Eloisium with uh, 10 packs of provisions for 40 amber in return. And I can sell as much coal as you want in the silly settlement for 25 in return. Okay, so money is starting to take off. Our next trader is going to be an important one. You all need to make up to a total of 25 purging amber at any one time, and I apologize for ever giving you the idea that we'd be able to skate away with a little less. Oh my god, the meat stuff's are ridiculous. So much meat. Ooh, I don't need to make uh, more wine or more jerky at the moment, as it turns out. Uh, and in fact, I'm making so many pies that I will never need to make jerky in this facility, which means I'm probably only ever going to need one of you in here, and if you make up to a total of 50 at any one time, you'll be fully utilized. Good expansion. Let's let's just immediately import another sixteen people. 
with these two ad hoc shelters. And in doing so, yeah, that gets us up to the 20 population, which means that if I decorate here correctly, we will immediately get a uh, prosper in this area. So for... Yeah. Honestly, having this area just heavily marked by lizard flags when they are there doing their ridiculous, ridiculous job. What are you... 72? So both of you would have had the 36 at a time? Ridiculous. Um, then I am also going to need... How about two night fern there? Boy. Two, two night fern there. A park to the north, park to the south. Oh no, that's... All of my decoration here has sucked because I've been trying to avoid doing it simply, but right now is a uh, simple brain time, so... I'm gonna let that resolve. Time for some simple action. Dullahan Warlander has turned up. Hey, uh, you are leaving before I get more money, unfortunately, at this point. You will accept grain if I sell you it, though, as well as jerky. I can sell you, like, half a stack of each of those easily. Uh, you can also have a full stack of packs of crops. You could honestly probably have the wine if it was selling for a better price, but it isn't, so it won't. And from you, I would like 33-ish in return. I'm definitely taking two epic perks, as well as a large number of goods here. Negative 15 hostility every time two villagers die, as well as plus one to all, production, uh, all packs of goods production. 30 fabric, 40 training gear, 40 biscuits, and 40 pickled goods. I'll also take the medium mystery box. 33% faster pack of goods production. Also get four plant fiber for every 12 vegetables produced, 30 oil, 30 berries, and 30 reeds. God, I love when Dullahan Warlander turns up and you just... I'm running a trade empire, so I suddenly have everything I possibly need. Wait, I'm gonna need one more park after this, as it turns out. That'll work. Ooh, that also finishes my aesthetics for plus one to berry production. 20, 20 more dollar I do! I can spend those at Dullahan. I also get 30 to crystallize dew and another reputation. Dullahan, what do you got for me? One uncommon perk, which is plus two to coat production. I haven't even got the cloth here online. Thank you for reminding me about that. 20 to the vegetables, 20 to the insects, and 30 to our wood storage. Can't believe I haven't put this cloth here online this entire time. I haven't even had access to it. Easily could have at any point. Um. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> Honestly, I think this is fine. Near enough by, still not to be a problem. And yeah, absolutely. Make codes until they're done. Woodcutters has nothing nearby. And we had to pause for the season. I've still got to make sure that the storm doesn't just suddenly kill me. 
That's the whole objective of this game. We are ultimately playing against the storm. In more ways than one. Everyone's housed. Ooh, everyone's housed except for the human lizard, apparently, in the moment. Um, I'm gonna get one normal one more normal shelter down. Just prevent the game from getting mad at me. Or rather, prevent anyone from suddenly randomly dying. So our blight rot is not well under control, but it could be handled, I think, pretty effectively here because most of the cysts are pretty close to the blight post. Part of the reason I positioned the blight post as I did, as well as all the other buildings. Perfect. Doing good on the blight rod again. Can try and continue increasing a trade relationship with the town. Oh my god, you'll accept reeds for a ridiculous price? Yeah, I'll take 30 from Eloisium for the reeds. Hey everyone, welcome back to your wood going. I hope you enjoyed this summer's break. I think at this point the third, the final woodcutters camp here is just not good. Not not needed. Really. Um storage is empty in this building already? Actually, I'm just gonna destroy it then. Put one in the lumber mill, just in case we need to make a couple of those. We need to make cobble, but not that many. Uh, Claudia, make the coats, please. Cornerstone for plus two to leather production. Eh, Royal Stormwalkers for faster newcomer arrival. Eh, every open cash lowers hostility by 15 points. Yeah, we're taking Silent Looning. And now my goal is to get simple tool production online. We already have coal production from the kiln. Don't really care about the copper gear production there. Don't really care about the training gear or pigment or patch of provisions here. And yes, that is simple tool production, but it's the most expensive simple tool production. If it's the most expensive simple tool production in the game, but it is it is fine for me technically. I'm gonna reroll. Tinkerer, training gear, packs, building materials, and the uh, level two simple tool production. Never punished. Okay, Tinkerer. Make every simple tool in the game and then we will win. I'll take some coats and some berries so that I can make some wine and have a couple of smiles out of it. Legitimately, I'm considering making a second Tinkerer and putting it back to back with the first one. Okay, so you want... <laughs> 12 more Harmony buildings? I can do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, eight, nine 10, uh, 11, 12. There we go. That'll get us Royal Gardens complete. Good friends. Um, only need to establish one more trade with Eloisium here. Honestly, I'm just gonna go for the quickest one, resolve it. Oh, I guess, yeah, this is taking six minutes and 21 seconds anyway, so that's gonna be the thing that Holds off on good friends completion there. Grill, smelter, supplier, and furnace. Literally none of these are relevant to me in a lick. So I'm just going to hold off. Don't need any of those. Hmm. 
You know, it's the second mine is the big thing, right? This mine hasn't run out yet. Are we getting so much stone from the mine as well? I really wish it wasn't. That's it. It's all the coal we need, so it's still good. There's Royal Gardens complete for plus one to all packs, 30 biscuits, as well as three wildfire essence and another reputation. Another corruption. I mean, these in the Black Post have already made the correct resources for dealing with that, so there's no need to be worried. Let's get some packs of provisions again. We're out of flour officially from the rain mill, so obviously get back atop that, make as much as you can, as quickly as you can, and then ship it over. I'm... I've been apparently sacrificing multiple stacks of coal and wood literally all of that season, but it also did increase our reputation because everyone was pretty happy because, well, as it turns out, everyone's pretty happy when we're not losing. One lizard camp, one beaver camp, and one human do pretty well here. Um, I think I can move this over, making easy space for, and that was, that's a lizard camp up there, so we're looking for the beaver and the human. That's actually something I should do at this point as well, is finish stoning all my roads. Especially down to these. Cross from there. Seems good to me too. A couple of these are relatively common parts. So we're holding off on wine production just because we've already got way too much of it, thankfully. Best reason to be holding off. As for our next trade route, I could... Honestly, I'm just gonna sell two things to Elysium really quickly here, get even, even closer to the third tier of that. Let's also unlock this medium abandoned cache, and this medium abandoned cache, both of them are gonna be unlocked for sending to the Citadel. And I'm even going to put down a blight, sorry, a hydrant. One there and one up here-ish somewhere. So that I actually have the ability to... Well, I mean, there's not that many things that need it in this area. I'm almost, almost hesitant to put it down. I'll still put it down. just in the most dire of cases. Well, these wood cutters with nothing nearby. Come down to that zone and clear it out. We are very much getting to the end of life cycle for wood cutters on this map. Great to see. So, final one will move out to there. Also, looks like our makeshift post is complete. Good Friends is now complete as well for 12 more to our simple tools, as well as 30 amber for T water skins. Uh -huh. 
Um, if you'll open this and send it to the Citadel, please. I do wonder now if I'm supposed to break into another glade. My lizards really hate me. Why? I try and do everything for you. It's negative reputation. Honestly, it's just the ridiculous amount of hostility that we have from the amount of woodcutters that we have, the amount of villages that we have, and the amount of years that we've been in the game. As well as our difficulty multiplier, obviously. Hmm. All of that is contributing quite deeply negatively here. Do we have any other good opportunity? Ooh, the dangerous forbidden glade up there in the corner. Yep, 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 yep. That's where we're going. Immediately. I do like this. I think this looks okay. We've discovered another wildfire. We'll solve it with exactly the same resources. We have so much fuel that I don't even need to worry about the speed at which we do this. We'll send it to the Citadel. I prefer that. Uh, a supplier. We can make these supplies better elsewhere. So I'll we'll salvage here. The large amount in cash. I'm going to send that to the Citadel. And then I'll uh, come back for the medium event in cash as soon as I can. Also make sure that the light post is actually well stocked at the start of the storm. Time to drop our woodcutters yet again. I know they would have just got to the job, but it's necessary, I'm certain. Two stacks, oh, two stacks of coal. One stack of coal, one stack of wood. Still leaves us above insatiable hunger, so everyone's going to be eating multiple times, but I have so much food! I think I'm fine with that. <laughs> the lizard's absolutely hating me constantly. It's, it's not great. Could be better. Of course, everyone's house, so I don't have to worry about losing anyone. 67 affected. Why the housing state change there? Chris Greybone has arrived. Will you accept uh, 205 <laughs> amber? Uh, people will pray. I'm giving them all of the stuffs that will make them happy. I don't need the best jerky production. I don't need any of the resin. I don't need any of any of that. Scrolls possibly could be utilized, I guess. I'm gonna throw in all of the infused tools because I can. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna try and end the game with some money in the bank. That's a that's a thing that you can do. I'm sure that there's a deed for ending the game with ridiculous amounts of money. You corner stone rise bakery production's 50% faster. Yeah. Yeah. Make all of the food immediately, please. Just just instant food, thanks. Alright. With all of our instant food going on, and this whole dangerous camp up here resolving quite quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna out my sacrifices right now to try and get people to have positive resolve. 
We have some newcomers. Bring some coal to the camp, if you will. Not everyone is housed. Thing I'll be able to resolve. Go there. This one also moved to there. Two lizard houses. Get some people houses behind them. And ultimately the beaver house was supposed to go over in the other corner there, but well, actually, it'll be fine. Beaver house here. I think I might need to break into yet another glade. As this is going to be one more to the citadel. The rest of them have automatically completed already. I'm actually going to spend one impatience here as well in order to call Dullahan Wallender as soon as they can possibly arrive, because if they arrive, I'm just going to buy everything out of them. And most of the time, that should be enough to get us across the line. I can't believe I've been languishing in the final, the final decorations in this area the entire time. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Just a little bit of piping will get the job done. Then I'm looking for yeah, entry to another cache. Uh, am I? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just riding until the end. Mine has no available ore. That's fine. Building can't be destroyed on the. Uh, unfortunately, though. This one is completely run out. Dullahan! Welcome back! I'll take an epic, uh, two epic perts, three stone a minute, 20 pottery every time I discover a glade, 40 ale, 40 jerky, 40 biscuits, 40 cosmetics. Plus one to plant fiber, plus three to pigments, some meats and stones. The rest of those not overwhelmingly relevant. Um... And I'll just throw in some money for the rest of the possibly important resources they hold. Possibly relevant resources, really. See, I could just, like, take one of these and re-roll until I find a tavern, put a tavern down, and everyone will get their booze and everyone will be happy. But I'm actually just gonna wait. In fact, burn more resources. And wait. I want to see if having a lot of uh, a lot of blueprints available at the very end was going to give us any deed there. It did not, but we do get level 15 for Giordani Stormfeather, who sells raw food, basic resources, building materials, some crafting materials, and a small number of basic blueprints and perks. We have the Forged Trip Hammer for a powerful hammer installed in the crude workstation, but working conditions decrease. Parts at three star can be produced in the crude workstation, but each worker takes a negative five penalty that it resolve. Burnt tool crisp for 20 coal for every three burnt blight rot sit. Wow. Tightened belt for travel costs on trade routes is reduced by one. Doesn't apply to routes already in progress. The effect scales along with the quantity of goods exported. The same thing, but for one more amber, and then forest mitigation, which is each newly completed event in a glade. Lowest hostility by 10. We get 112 to the food stockpiles, 8 to our artifacts, as well as the prestigious expedition, for I imagine getting enough prestige points. The Blight Storm is almost here, so no further expeditions can embark during this cycle. We unfortunately do not find another chest in our final location, Tristonia. Was still a very successful city for us, though. I will turn in our deed for Prestige 7 or higher, of course. Have a wee look at our upgrades here. All farms having their tile range increased, but then the ability to get the plantation or the herb garden afterwards are really important. So I'll take it. 
unfortunately nothing I can purchase with the remaining uh, nice number of our food. So that'll take us to the end of the episode, at which point, uh, well, hang on, not end of the episode, let's end this cycle summary. We can see that we have lost to the Brass Order, who've developed better than us, but we've beaten the Vanguard of the Stolen Keys as well as the First Company. And in doing so, we've unlocked for ourselves 104 more food, 10 machinery and 6 artifacts. Hell yeah! Well, with all of these additional resources, let's see what we can do. I could get embarkation bonus of parts, as well as move myself up to the ability to get permanent plus five to storage capacity of all buildings in our settlement. I think that's really impactful. That said, I'm about to immediately turn down the plantation I just asked for. So I'll go and click that button. We'll come back and click these other buttons at other times, but until then, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game. This has been Against the Storm. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist up in the top left of the screen at the moment, as well as a YouTube recommendation down below. Stream pass in the names of the people so generously supporting the Republic of Patreon.com slash Rhapsody plays out above the thank team. A special thanks to this episode to 3D. Hopefully you all have been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you all next time.